from Morton. Am I excited? I'm more than excited. So, welcome to you all. Names? Okay, let's tell you what we're doing now. You know, we have to clear the way. And so, we have to deal with the spirits. I give thanks for my time. I'm in the so. You're going to spray it or you're just going to put it on the drum? You're going to put it on the abeng. And who's going to blow the abeng? You, Aaron? Aaron is going to blow the abeng. So, as we ask the ancestors to enter the room and be with us, and don't make Sister PB too emotional, because these things do take me away. Um, Aaron, we're putting the rum on the abeng, which we did. And Aaron is going to start off by playing the abeng. to just so remind listeners that we are streaming live. Uh, well, they go to www.stylesfm.com, S-T-Y-L-Z-F-M, or Facebook. Oh, yes, go to Facebook. We're streaming live. What do we do next now, Aaron? So we have asked the ancestors to come in. We asked them for permission. The elder in the room is Mr. Aaron. Mr. Aaron, we have to ask your permission for us to go further. So you let us know if we can move from here. Gain the shanty, then get your good news from Nanka Nanka, Mr. Nanka Nanka, me D. Duany or Duany or the Dagam, Cara Frank and Colon Frank and Joe, or an antipity moment in Kamadu. Doctor Shari, Doctor Pinyard. They have given us permission, so we move on. Yeah, yeah. 
can I say? What can I say? I see Grace Ontario saying that they wish they were here, but I want to go now. Um, I want to go to the lead singer, because listeners don't even realize what is happening in the studio here. So what is your name? I am Lamora Dillon. Lamora yes. Dillon. How old are you, Lamora? I'm 14 plus. 14 plus. My question is 14. She not, fi- she not make 15 yet. 14 plus means I should not make 15. And you are the lead singer. And I'm listening to your voice. And trust me, I am back in the village in Ghana because it sounds just like you're in the village in Ghana. Yeah. Just the same. And as we're changing drums here, um, that means that we're going to get more. Mr. Aaron. Yes, I tell you something, Mr. Aarons goes so far back to me, can I remember, you know. But anyway, Mr. Aarons is 88 years old. So we're starting from 14 plus, and we're going all the way to 88. Mr. Aarons. Yes, you stop. Mick, you always a play a drum. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> And when you started off, you were speaking in a different language. What language is that? Comanche language. In other words, tree. Tree, right. Tree, tree. from yeah. Ghana. Because, you know, I've always wondered about this Cormanti thing because I've been, you know that I've been to Ghana several, and there's no people over there that are called Cormanti, but there is a, a town that is called Cormanti. Oh. So I always say to myself, and we always try to figure out how did we get that name over here? So I am pretty sure that it's from people who left from that particular port. And it's just like if we were to go somewhere and then we'd just call it like a Portland man or a Portland woman or something like that. Yes. So you're speaking in tree. And what did you say when you were speaking in tree? We was talking to our ancestors. You was talking to the ancestors and you were asking them? Permission. Permission. <laughs> Yes. So, see, if we could only take this culture and get it to a wider Jamaica. And one of the reasons that I'm happy to have this group here is because 
They are doing everything to wipe out our traditional culture here thank, in Jamaica. Thank you, my sister. That's what they are doing. Everything. Yes, Mr. Aarons. You and I, as we say, we go far back. That's what? Uh, you, you know, our setups, them bring in big sound. In other words, death is no a money making business. Yes, I'm not going to make some out there. Because you have to have all of these people now that come. Before, we would have the drums. We would spray the rum and ask at the spirits. All of that. No, they don't want that. They want this loose, everlasting wind up, go under this and jump on this and all them something there. So look at the beauty of our culture. Why cannot we expand on it instead of bringing in? And then I'm telling you, so young people, so the young people, this must be the only country in the world that young people tell people what they want, you know. Because every other country have a culture, and that culture is set. And we're putting more rum on the drums now. And I'll tell you something. To see a little sister playing drums takes me back, and everyone knows exactly what I'm talking about. Yes. Because Sabira Gordon, my daughter, yeah. was a coming a drummer also. So, mm -hmm. to see another young miss playing the drums, Mr. Aaron, I am so glad, you know, because you have these people who talk about women of play drums. Mm -hmm. It's my granddaughter, you know. It's your granddaughter? Yes. <laughs> yes, you know, must play drums because of your granddaughter. <laughs> yeah, man. Yes. All right, so my way, go on again, no? I see that, you know. I see that I start off, you know.
boy, boy, boy. You know what? In a fret, say, yeah, I go off in a spirit then. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't have a matchy stick around you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we put it on there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, mat- yeah you bring your matchy stick. Do you have other things? You have other things? Okay. I know, so they would have fix me up if I did take the chance. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gone way. I can't even tell you no, what a wonderful experience this has been. Not just for me, but I know for the listeners. Let's see. Um, listener in Texas, yeah, Keisha, she's dancing. Rastris gives thanks. Taria wish she was here. Um, let's see what Daddy Fitzroy has to say, Sister P. Let me see what Daddy Fitzroy is saying. Okay, um, Sister P, can you have Cassidy to take the group picture? It's already on, he says. Facebook and Instagram. And those of you, we thank you for watching the live stream. You know, people are always saying, drum in, Sister P, drum in. Oh, no, no, tell me nothing about drumming again. Because you're not just recorded drumming. We had drumming live in the studio. The second time we had live drumming in the studio. Okay. Aaron, do you get work? For the music, it happened, mm-hmm. right? Yes, but not as we would like. I know that you have the yoga retreat that comes up there and do, do your thing with them. That is with Ayabingi. Yes. Don't you think it is a disgrace in a country of people with African descent? Cassidy telling you to speak up more. That we don't have more drumming? It is. It is a disgrace. I think it should be taught to the younger ones. Yes. I thought more tone of all places if it's even the school, mm-hmm. should try and let the children of the community and neighboring communities yes. get a feel of the knowledge yes. and understanding mm-hmm. of their culture, not just ours, yes. but theirs also. But isn't a part of that because in Moortown, that school is a government school and not a school that is a more, it's a, near Moortown. Yes. But it's not a more town school. It's no. a government school. Yes, it's a government school. And enterprise. we never know of the government interested in elevating people's culture. That don't happen. Not that I know of. Okay. So we are on the same page. Now, I notice, I remember when we went into festival back in 1989, I think we were, there was only two groups in there at the time. It was us and a school with some big children from Portland. But I noticed that more and more there are more and more drumming groups. But you have these drumming groups, but it is not affecting our culture. In other words, it's like something that when festival come, you draw it out. And you put it out there. Yeah. But you're not live it. True. But I think that culture is something that you should live. Of course, culture is something that you should live. Culture is an everyday life. And if they're talking about crime and all of that, but one of the things that I, I have noticed, and I don't know why them don't notice it, are because they have no business with Jamaican people. Youths who get involved with culture do not get into trouble. No. They don't. No. Because they have something to occupy them. Like, I don't know. None of my youths have, that have been involved in anything cultural that have been. None of them have ended up in jail and all them places there. So. True. So this is something that can be used. Okay, so it's one aspect of things. But it could be used. Yes. As a fight against crime. Yes. But all they think about when they think about crime is bigger guns. Big, I don't know. But... Mr. Aaron, I have to congratulate you on the fact that you have kept this culture alive so that the younger people can now pass it on. And I want to say to you, young miss, don't just sing it and play the drum, you know. Make sure that as you grow up, 
Just like Mr. Aaron and you, Mr. Aaron, granddaughter, you make sure so you pass it on to your picture them to you. Know? Yes, I will. Yes, yes. And sister, I didn't get your name, the two ladies here. I am Elena, Yes. And? Annette Aaron. Annette Aaron. So this is all Mr. Aaron's family. <laughs> and he has done a wonderful job of keeping this together. And I will, we don't really do big ups and shout outs, but I'll just give you the opportunity to do that if you want to shout out to anybody. Right, before we go, I'd like to comment on the topic that you just bring up previously. Yes. Um, I think they take our culture for a joke. They do, they simple, do. There's simple no respect. That it is just a means to end. Yes. Like if they want to get themselves, I'm talking the government and the old. Wait, me know we and, are. And you understand, they, are t they don't use it as something to get persons hopes up when they need them. Mm -hmm. They don't use it as something to get persons up and running and involved. Because I can tell you, we, we travel in the US, we tour with the album that we have. Mm -hmm. Right? It is a historical thing because it have a 40 page booklet. In it. Which part right? of the US they went to? We went to Georgia, we, we went to New York, we mm -hmm. went to Washington DC. Yes. We went to Miami, mm -hmm. Florida also. And we went to this not not just went to United States, we went to the school. Mm -hmm. We went to Georgia State University. Look at that. To do lectures about maroon history. Mm -hmm. When was that? In twenty sixteen. Okay. Can I say something to you here now? This program has a lot of listeners in the United States. Whenever you're going to do anything, let me know. Because they are hungry for our culture there. Right. They are hungry. And this is where Jamaica's greatest strength with, not with us out here. Right, right. right. It's with those people in the diaspora. Right. And they, trust me, they only would need to know that you're going to be here. And the whole of them reached there, so you know. Right, right. So in the future, me giving you this responsibility. I will take you up on it. Me know so you yeah, take me up on it. Just like you take me up on this. And and it's not yes, lack of trying me. it's not lack of trying in our country here, you know. Mm -hmm. I have been on the phones. No I you call the I call all the, the main persons. The Pamphy was sitting on me after shutting right. down. And, yes. and 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 they are not they are just giving you the run around mm. and giving you and then we are saying the culture they are saying that we are at world look at it now no world heritage site mm -hmm. if i can say i live in more my i don't live up there for a while now but i visit there regular my family is up there and i cannot point out a significant fact of assistance that the World Heritage Site has bring to more town that I have can point on to. All right, hold that point there because I know that we need to take a break. Cassidy, let's take the break and come back after the break because this is a very important discussion. You're tuned in to Spiritual Vibration with Sister P. Bang! Bang, bang, boo! Out of Bridge Promotion in association with Tonji as Hurricane and Rasta as Legal present Extra Lesson Refix this Friday, January 19, 2018 at Bambulan, Willow Field, St. Thomas. Load up the place with the bang bang. Music by Hard Rock Sound, Black Venom, Stain Family, Special Guest, Black or Pearl. Don't forget to bring the bar of your foot. Drink responsibly. IDs definitely required. Goons, chatty mode boy, you a madman fool. 2018 is a good look. It's the biggest event of the year. Brutus presents his pub's second anniversary and birthday bash on Sunday, January 21st at Brutus Pub and Gaming Lounge 62. Red Hazel Road, music by Les 5000, DJ Fleer, DJ Denzel, featuring live performance by Jolly Boys, backed by Japossel Band with Lenny I. Special guests and artists will be there. Come out early, it's a 12 to 12 event. It's Brutus Pop's second anniversary and birthday back. Everybody wanna feel like free. Forget your troubles and the Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? We just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, you know? So, if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Super Center and hardware? Ramtula Super Center and hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's hardware, experience.
experience the three C's comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ram Tiller Supercenter and Hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715 5132. Email ramtiller supercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. As you know, this would have been a different segment, but you see, when we have food business, we talk about, we talk about food business because one of the things, my argument is, you see, this culture here, and then I ask me, I ask you, me know, me can tell you, me might not come from there, but me know because me was involved in a certain culture here. You see, if you bleach out your face and, you, and, 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 and your drawers are sure on the back with two something, sometimes then dirty, you get all kind of sponsorship because it is, it is to the breakdown of Jamaica. Because if we see what is happening in St. Thomas right now, that's what they want. Things to uplift us and show us and keep the ways of the ancestors. Ancestors, there's no business with the ancestors. Ancestors, no man, them is the greatest. You no know, business with ancestors. No respect whatsoever. So we're going to talk some business here that I don't think has ever been spoken on Jamaican radio. Let's go ahead. Yes, as we said. You identify yourself. Anthony Ireland, the spokesperson for the Granny and the Cultural Group, mm-hmm. Morton Maroons. And um, as I was saying, I think it's about a year, maybe a year and a little bit ago, they have put a plaque in Moretown said it is a center of Royal Heritage Site. Yes. And from that time, all we hear is lip service around what benefits should be galvanized from that. We haven't heard from the Colonel. We haven't heard from the government. I went to a function with them. They are telling us all different sort of agencies that we should apply for this and apply for that. When Why we, should you have to do are, that? Exactly. We you are didn't the ask them to bring that, that territory. Did you ask them to bring that territory site there? Nope. Is that the same as a John Crow Mountain? Same thing. You see, this is it. We love image. I remember coming into Port Antonio one day and see them putting up a sign out down by... Um, first and first last, and last year, right. saying that the home of the World Heritage, Heritage Site, site whatever, right. whatever, and it was a big thing, and it was everybody was proud. That's it. That's Jamaica, folks. Image. So you put up the sign, and you hear what they're saying. You hear what they're saying. And I bet you, know, you didn't know. We went to some of those, um, what you call it, seminars to discuss about the Blue and Junk Mountain. Our yes. group, and I want you to know that plenty of those functions that is going on we haven't been invited to one that has to do with you the, has that to has do to with do us. with you our pictures are on them what yes. Yes. our this pictures is more are than on them they are advertised I'm glad here. they are advertised for unesco we are advertisement for unesco i am advertising for unesco from 2002 i have been advertising for unesco and you're not invited to the functions. And we are not invited to those functions. No, something has to be done about that. Something has to be done about that. That is out of order. So no can sue them for using an image or something. By the way, did you copyright? Uh, not those. Did you have the copyright on the group's name? We, our group is copyright. Our, okay. our pictures are copyright. Whatever okay. we do are copyright under the copyright act. So basically, they should no longer be using your picture. Exactly. Well, I hope there's a lawyer that can take it up for free if you don't have the money to do that because that is out of order. How come them are going to tell you about copyright? Yes, still them not paying. Tell you, man. Right. So no benefit accrued to the community more than you have to apply to government agents. We are the Maroons. I think that based on our history and what we are about, the government should know that funds are there for the Maroons, not for us to go and apply for them. If we have something to do in our community and we request those funds, those funds should be given unto us because we are the upholders of the same district and communities that they are putting on World Heritage side and we are the one who is taking care of it. Why we should go to all these procedures with them to apply for something that should be given unto us as subsidies 
are as part of the tax that they are collecting across the island they have a thing to say maroon don't pay tax well i can tell them when we go to the supermarket we are not they didn't give us a free so we pay general consumption tax and the lands that the government are collecting tax on a portion of that fund should be returned back to the maroon communities to develop the maroon communities and their heritage and it is not and we have to be paying parish council if we want to have a function at the park maroons have to be paying parish council when parish council is on maroon lands we want to expand on that because i remember years ago seeing some document where titchfield hill was basically part of maroon lands you want to tell me more about that since we're talking we're talking listeners this is not just a cultural program this morning this is also a history program so listen so that you can tell because we really don't know nothing about our history in this country they have i bet you know about christopher columbus i bet you know about him yeah man we well, you know about him yeah you know about henry morgan don't you know nothing about pure culture no so let's let's talk about it. this is what this program is all about mm-hmm. yes but so we have we have documents to prove it so that it's not like it, it belongs it, to the maroons it's not a guess game yes the reason why maroons aren't in port antonio as the township in port antonio is the strategic measures that nanny or queen has taken because of the war that she has weighed on the british mm-hmm. show the maroons were given all of this area in port antonio go straight back out to, to to where the school is but the strategic that's when you say the school that is done by Pasley Gardens, Pasley Gardens right? Yes. right so all of that all that's of 500 the, the, the acres. acres I remember seeing the figure 500 too you know it yes. belongs to the Maroons belongs to the Maroons but the strategic move that Nani had made was to go in the hills to, to for a strategic warrior move so that she could see the British when they are coming and because she was fearful that they would come back to take over break their promise she decided to go in the hills so she could see and defend her people when they are coming so all of these land that's why we have some more lands so we could expand our family and our culture more further on in the hills so we get 700 acres more right you know so our history is not what people have assumed and thought persons are claiming land only reason why these lands belong to persons here is because of corrupt leadership mm-hmm. and i can say it corrupt leadership mm-hmm. because maroon lands are not to be sold it's a land of the people which supposed to pass on from generation to generation yes. person to persons yes no one can own something it must be passed and if somebody else from your family come and say they need piece of land whether it is for me from mr aaron's it's mr aaron's obligation to give that person peace with the authority of the colonel the colonel wasn't elected there to rule the colonel was elected there to administrate over the welfare of the maroon people because no one in the community is beholden to the colonel the colonel don't have any authority over no one there the colonel cannot dictate what no one there do because we were freed we don't we don't abort to authority we are unruly set of people in the decent way like myself right <laughs> you me can unruly. say we are ungovernable yes let me <laughs> right so freedom fighters right. all so the we, way yes. we we don't stoop to persons we, we, and we don't bow and we don't bow to yes. authority when mm-hmm. we know authority is taking advantage of the people mm-hmm. so because of corrupt leadership the lands were were sold so partially sold to outsiders when outside outsiders can buy the land but the maroons directly cannot buy the property they cannot if they send spend money and buy maroon land from maroon person they are supposed to be hung well them and them, them, them give up but in other words the government of jamaica has sold off maroon lands going all the way to pasley gardens is exactly. that what we're saying right so i think this is a similar thing as what we're seeing today in st thomas with these people who four generations 100 years and the government sold off the land to some i guess it's a foreigner or some white jamaican i don't know so this is what the government this is how the government of jamaica takes care of us 
which the only thing I say is I do not like the fact that Maroons vote for the people representing the government of Jamaica. I don't like that. I have a problem with that too. Because if you are voting and electing people in the government of Jamaica, you have given up your sovereign right. They have the right now to be right. governing you. Right. That's true. Have, There's have... also another point that I want to bring up. And maybe I'm wrong. It's easier for a white person to go into more town and get land than it is for me. Is that correct? That is correct so far. But not not if I have what I have what to do with it. Because my philosophy is the land is for yeah, the Just a minute. Listeners, did you hear what I just said? And did you hear the answer? This is something that has bothered me. Uh, Mr. Aaron, I don't, recall, I don't know if you recall when I was made chairperson for culture for the parish. You remember that. And I thought that I could go and do something for Morton. Put it more on the map. Bring in economic revival, all of that stuff. But I basically was not welcome. You remember that? Yes, your mom. So what did I do? <laughs> I stepped away. I had to move on. Um, there were particular craft. I remember the shot, what do you call it? Shot pocket? Right. What do you call it? Shot. Yes. And there was something else. And I said, you know, these are objects that you can actually market as heritage. And I think we did one thing that was done at, um, I think it was oh, by St. Mary there, Gray's Inn. And then you had people who were saying, A money she want make off away. You know what I do? Lefty. Of course. Quite so. Because here I am. I'm not paid to be <laughs> part of, to be no, uh, on culture. But my nature is, I love my culture. I love Africa. And anybody listening to this program knows that. So for me to be able to push something forward that is part of our heritage. And then you get slapped in the face. So I left it. If that had not happened, we would not be sitting here now. And Aaron knows this. Mr. Aaron knows this also. We would not be sitting here now because I would have been fighting for this. There would no way. They could have been using this group and not inviting them to their to, to their functions and stuff like that. That couldn't be done. It's almost like our group, I can tell you, only one of the Maroons group, I think, have, a, have their work like ours. And our work go far beyond theirs. Because now our work, it's have 20 songs on it with yes. storytelling and stuff. And then we have a 40-page booklet with the history. Where does one book. find that? On the, you can go on Amazon.com mm -hmm. or you can go on CD Baby Okay. Mm -hmm. to download mm -hmm. and listen to them. Right? And you have stories on there. Right. You have stories. Mr. Aaron tells story. I think. And you never bring one for me? Yeah, man. I bring oh. it, man. Oh, okay. Good. You and, say, and, yes, and, oh, Cassidy, I'll <laughs> sneak it over there. <laughs> you say, oh, Cassidy, I'll sneak it over and, there. And, you know, we also have a documentary, a Granny Nanny, uh, a Maroon Chief Tanis. Is Queen Nani legendary maroon chieftainess? And that is where? Where does one find that? Um, it's on it, it's on the Granny Nani Maroons dot com. www Granny Nani Maroon dot com. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. I forgot to carry that that show to let us see it. Okay. Forgot. But I, but I think the I listeners, I know that the listeners trust right. me. So if I open this here now, right. So what this program has done for listeners. I don't know if any other program, basically, in a long time. I don't know if they on Jamaican radio because everything is reggae, 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 reggae. Right. So, I love reggae too, you know. But it's not the only thing. It's not the only thing. There are other things. Yes. So we, 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 we put out the work and, and uh, we are keeping, we not only do the music in you know, a person, we think that the music is, yes, they are doing music, but the history, the language. Yes. Okay, come, let's go, let's go to the language. Any of you learning the language? 
He is. He knows. No, me not talking about Aaron. Is. She knows it. And if you can sing a song, he knows them. I know so. She's gonna sing a song. Okay. With the language. We have like five minutes. So, but if she, if she's singing it with the language, she must be able to tell me what she's saying. You know. All me know is a kwaba. Welcome. Medasi. Thank you. Um. Well, when, when, when you're over there, I never wait for say, um, no, that is Muslim. And I noticed that they use that. They use it because Muslim enslaved the blacks. First person, the person don't know the Muslim as well. No, we know that. We know that. But that's not where that is coming from, you know. So the Maroons get a part of... No, I want to correct you. Muslims also came. Right. And they were in Manchonil. True, that's true. The Mandingo people. Yes. Ah, yes. Really. When you think me, I don't know you know. A culture, my name. And can you always change my name. And can call me culture P. If you speak, we speak that we are Mandingos. Yes. Yes. So it's not just a shanty. Yes. It, it is. Yes. It is. It is. Yes. All right. Come here, on, where you say? Grandi koton grandi. Yen king pong sa asi kwe aku kota tanami. Fambuso a fambuso kamadi a kamadi on nanko nanko da me friend. Kujail anambo. Where you just say? I am from the Rio Grande Valley. Father God Almighty guide and bless and protect each and every listener. Mm-hmm. Next time. All right, Mr. Aaron, do you remember when I brought those chiefs from Ghana up to Moortown? Remember, I brought a delegation of chiefs up to Moortown one time. I think you were there. I brought a delegation of chiefs from Ghana up to Moortown 1999. You don't remember. Um, it was a very high level. I think it was probably the highest level delegation that came out of Ghana. They came from Ghana. And they came to Fuisinting and then they went up to, I took them up to Moortown. And I know that they and Colonel Harris was talking tree. You know, remember that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we're basically all out of time. I think this is one of the first times that I have done a one hour. And we could have gone on for another hour. But. I don't know what we say. Nuff, 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 nuff. Thanks. Yes, let us hope that this is not the first, but we need to take seriously this thing now of this UNESCO thing. It needs to be brought front and foremost. Um, I think this requires people like Paul Williams, you know, Paul, we have met him. You said something about one other maroon group. I want to hear who you're really talking about. Oh, um. Oh, business, you're not talking about the one down the road? No, no, no. Oh, no, okay. No. It, it, what, the CD that we have? That they did. Don't, I don't remember that group, but I will give you the name. Okay, because you know. I will give you the name. Watch, 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 I'm vexed me now. You have people calling themselves maroon, whatever. They were the elder ones. <laughs> but them is tourist attraction. Yes. <laughs> Man, I respect for that. Them is tourist attraction. And here we are talking to the people because you, them can't tell you nothing about nothing other than the, how much tourists going to come there. So again, we're taking our in culture and turning it into tourist attraction. Just like they have a Rasta indigenous village in Montego Bay that is a tourist attraction. <laughs> this is how light and fluffy people have taken the culture of Jamaica. But anyway, um, Let's take some of these um, so that they can at least see the appreciation of listeners to the Spiritual Vibrations program. I think we can start. We want to start, Cassidy. 
top coming down okay um okay there's a listener who's asking how old she's 14 plus she said she would love to have been there and she said loved this sister p and she's thanking you all and this is grace and grace lives in georgia see what i'm saying so when please let us know let me personally know you have the number that if ever you're going nowhere right, right, right. we mobilize the people them right, right. all right we'll do, we'll do. and this is yakisha she's in texas this is what she has to say check if them now siphon off the funds just like they do every other government funds sad continue representing our beautiful culture we'll do it. yes Sabi. yakisha Sabi. yes Sabi. what you say Sabi. Sabi? Yeah. Me understand. Understand. okay Oh, okay, so that's so. Oh, all right, so that's how we say, Savvy. <laughs> all right, me get him, me get him, me get him. You know, have to tell me two times. What? Savvy. <laughs> <laughs> then we have, who is this now? Um, Davia, Sister P. Uh, all right, pass it. That's not relevant right now. You have Chris and everybody. Okay, good morning, everyone. My people from my town, Moreton. And this is from who? Cassidy? Marshallet. Okay, and this is from Chris. I hope that was recorded, because I have to hear it again. Me want more, please. Uh, All right, you see your listeners who want more? Go and tell them how to go and get more. Saskia vexed me for saying that. 